What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Leon Lush YouTube video. Today we're going fucking crazy, man. <sighs> Today we're watching a video, so <laughs> today we're gonna watch a video from this weird Antifa member from my neck of the woods, the Boston area, and we're gonna laugh about it because he's fucking retarded. <laughs> Fuck yes! Oh shit. Listen guys, I apologize. Uh, the reality of the situation is I just finished my uh, pre-workout drink. It's this electric blue carcinogenic uh, pre-workout supplement that I take because I'm too old to have enough energy to, to go to the gym, so I have to take something that's most likely with an 80% efficacy rate going to give me cancer by the time I'm 40, but at least my workouts up until then uh, will be pretty good. So you know what we're going to do now? Uh, just on the count of three, uh, we're going to go ahead and head into the intro. So if you'll just bear with me here, just uh, one, two, and... Nah, you thought I was going to... You thought I was going to... Roll the intro! Mm. So as is typical in the offices of Leon Lush, the other day I was scrolling through my Twitter feed, uh, which doesn't happen very often. Yeah, all the time. Time. I'm fully addicted. Please help. And I stumbled upon this Diamond in the Rough Twitter account, which actually led me to an equally incredible YouTube account of this Antifa Boston member, right? And so Antifa or Antifa, as some people call it, stands for anti-fascism, and it's essentially just this group of people that shows up at rallies dressed like they're extras in the movie V for Vendetta, and then they hit people with sticks and throw stones from a distance at people that they disagree with. It was actually a Joey Salads video that I scrolled on where this dude was interacting with Joey uh, in a very combative way. Uh, as you know, Joey Salads likes to do a lot of things that uh, will stir the pot. And recently I went undercover at a Trump rally as an Antifa member. I went undercover because I wanted to expose the fact that the Antifa members are the agitators, are the ones going there to start all the violence. He basically went undercover as an Antifa member and like was going to these rallies to kind of see what was going on behind the scenes. Now I'm fully aware that the stability of the United States political climate is rapidly deteriorating, but I've never been one to weigh heavily in on one side or the other. I like to live my life uh, based on logic, critical thinking, uh, and anytime I see large groups of people showing up with masks on, hitting each other with sticks and throwing rocks at one another, it makes me laugh because I just think you're fucking retarded. Listen, me and Nigel don't care if you're a proud Trump supporter and wear your Make America Great Again hat to Sunday brunch with your grandmother, or if you're fucking... I'd want to take a load from Bernie Sanders. Fuck you, Nigel. Ugh. Ruin the joke. <laughs> and I also don't care if you want to fucking rub... Fuck you, Nigel. And I also don't care if you want to fucking rub one out of Bernie Sanders and use his semen as eye black before you go to battle in a mask throwing punches at Nazis and trying to come up with 45 different ways to describe your gender. Hey, took you five tries, but you delivered the joke. Nice work, Leon. I myself tend to live in the gray like most of America. I'm neither the 5% on one end that wants to dress up like Black Block and go throw rocks at children just because they have a different viewpoint than you, and I'm neither like the other side that wants to jam my dick down every one's throat that I see and force them to say, make America great again with my balls in their mouth. So back to the man of the hour, I'm scrolling down my Twitter feed and I see this tweet from Joey where he says, the situation where I exposed your entire movement? And he's replying to this guy named Dustin 27 Antifa who says, we are closely monitoring the Joey salad situation. Anyone with further information on undercover fakes is encouraged to contact us. So naturally I think to myself, why don't we get a little insight into what it's like to be this man who's so concerned about Joey fucking salads dressing undercover and ruining your rallies. Quick scroll through his recent tweets, we get a little bit of a feel for what we're working with here. Seems like Burt's Bees are just corporate whores. So disappointing, but still expected. Hashtag chapped lips. <laughs> I'll tell you, and to the credit of the team at Bird's Bees, they actually responded to him. They're like, hi, we're sorry to hear and would love to learn more. Please follow DM us with more details. We're looking forward to it. Clearly not expecting a reply, Dustin musters all of his strength and reaches deep to find the words to finally put those corporate whores in their place. Okay, I guess. No, but seriously, there's no amount of money I wouldn't pay to get a copy of the transcripts of that conversation. Yes, well, Bert, I saw a Facebook video of drone footage on your bee farms, and it showed the bees eating unorganic honeycombs. Anyways, you're starting to get the picture. He's got the classic fight back. 
as his Twitter banner. Now, initially what piqued my interest on this guy's Twitter page was that his Twitter profile link is to youtube.com forward slash Boston Antifa. Now, anyone that has watched my videos or knows me a little bit, you know I'm from the Boston area. So I figured I'd click through to his YouTube, try to get to know this guy a little bit in case I'm ever downtown Boston trying to get a shawarma. Unbeknownst to me, there's a political rally going on nearby and I have to start drop kicking bitches in the throat. Hello, this is Dustin27 from Boston Antifa and welcome to our page. I'll be honest with you, I always appreciate a warm welcome. So first of all, I'd like to give you a little bit of an introduction about who we are and then a few rules. You know what, maybe this guy's not half bad. Hits you with a nice warm welcome when you show up to his page. He's really up front, he's about to hit me with a couple rules. It probably won't be that hard to follow. Let's take a quick look deeper. We are an anarchist group. We are an anarchist group. We're pretty new from Boston, Massachusetts. And the surrounding area is basically where we uh, defend people of color and the LGBTIAQIIAA. <laughs> Q U I I I I A Q T I plus I. I am pro doing whatever the fuck you want to make yourself happy, as long as it doesn't hurt anyone else. Uh, but can we just cut the acronym off at LGBTQT? I-A-Q-I-I-T-A. Uh, anybody else who is a margin person. Margin person. So right off the bat, we know this man stands for the rights of the LGBTQTIIAA community and anybody else who is a Martian person. So this is great news for Elvis the Alien because he finally has someone on YouTube actually out on the streets adver <laughs> advocating for Martian rights. Listen, I know he was trying to say marginalized, but I got to make jokes. That's the point of this video, right? So shut the fuck up. So anyway, here's our rules. Okay, we're at the rules. Good. Let's hear them. No xenophobic, homophobic, homophobic. bigoted, racist, bigoted. Ageist, ageist, misogynist, misogynist holy white, shit. Nationalist, white nationalist, ableist, ableist transphobic, transphobic, Islamophobic, anti-Semitic, Semit classist, holy fuck. capitalist, running out of fingers. None of that. None of that. Colonial, Colonials. no way, sexist, cissexist, shit. Shit. white supremacist, white supremacist xenophobic, phobic, queer phobic, queer phobic, fat shaming, fat or shaming. any general hatefulness. Or any general is hatefulness. Allowed. Okay, that's On like twenty. I, I think I just ran out of feet and toes. That's holy shit! Holy shit! That is a that is a lot of rules. Can I get? Can I at least get a fucking email, dude? Or like, can we get like a bullet point list, like you'd see on a Reddit subreddit? Welcome. If you can follow those simple rules, <sighs> sounds easy enough. Honestly, yeah. Okay, now let's go out there and fight. Okay. Did he just slip in one of these at the end there? Let's go, let's fight back. Let's fight back, guys. Fucking cissexual, transsexual, right nationalist, homophobic, xenophobic, white cis transphobic, sexual reactionary, capitalistic, nationalistic, fashion nationalistic, cis sex nationalistic, fashion capitalist. Anyways, we know if the video is this good that the comments are gonna be even better. So let's take a quick scroll. Antifa is using fascism to stop fascism. Pretty much, yeah. LGBTIAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAA
and learn to not be such a cunt about it. Now, the problem with these movements and when you, you were having this kind of uprising in the United States is at the at, at its core, there's probably some good going on. But the problem is whenever something starts to gain traction, all of these people that don't have much self-worth, that are looking for something to stand for, that are tired and lonely and lost with life and have no purpose and feel like they're hopelessly wandering through life, they kind of see this as a chance to have purpose. Finally, I can stand for something and have some self-worth. And that shit can start to get dangerous because people start to get blinded by the cause and forget about logic and reason. I just get a kick out of it, man. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a little bit of a laugh <laughs> alongside me during this video. Uh, you know, a lot of people just take life too seriously, I think. And sometimes that's appropriate, but a lot of times I think it's a little bit over the top. So if you happen to be part of this Antifa movement uh, and you think I'm a Nazi just because I'm basically Hitler's wet dream, I mean, for Christ's sake, look at me. I'm like the poster child for the Aryan race. Uh, if that's the case, then I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually sorry. I'm not a bad guy, honestly. I just like to have fun and have a couple laughs uh, when I think people are being fucking ludicrous. If you could just uh, pretend Nigel's mouth is the like button, okay? Just stand up out of your computer chair and then just slowly get close to that like button with your pelvis and just... You're just gonna wanna smash that motherfucking like button. Also, go ahead and leave a comment down below about what you thought of this video, and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more of the best fucking videos you've ever seen in your life. Wh what's that? You didn't self-deprecate?